In 1947, William Branham held a series of revivals in Canada that would both define his career and spark the latter rain movement within Pentecostalism. Branham was well received in the revivals after having claimed to have been visited by an angel in May of 1946 and given a gift of divine healing. The very day that Israel was declared a nation again for the first time for 2,500 years, that same night the angel Lord sent me out to pray for the sick. The very same time, May 6, 1946. Though the meetings were successful from an attendance standpoint, they were not so successful from a healing standpoint. People that were lame, halt, and blind arrived to the meetings in hope that they could be cured, but they left the meetings just as they arrived. According to Alfred Pohl, who helped organize William Branham's meetings in Canada, many of the people that Branham pronounced as healed died shortly after. Pohl was greatly concerned about how William Branham's failures in healing would reflect upon the denominational leaders who had brought William Branham to Canada. William Branham claimed that his healing gift was genuine, however, just not in Canada. Branham claimed that he went to an undertaking parlor in Jeffersonville and had raised a man from the dead. Not only a man that laid in the morgue, pronounced dead by three doctors, and I went into where he was at. He's driving a Pennsylvania locomotive tonight, and still they don't believe. That is true. That is true. Newspaper reporters, still looking for evidence that someone was actually healed by William Branham, wrote the Jeffersonville newspapers to inquire about William Branham's raising a man from the dead in an undertaking parlor. At this point in his ministry, William Branham used the middle initial E in his name, William E. Branham. Other aliases used were William Marvin Branham and William Marion Branham. Newspaper reporters were able to identify the person that William Branham claimed to have raised from the dead. Mrs. Joseph Frazier claimed that her brother, Elijah Perry, was raised from the dead in 1939, seven years before William Branham's alleged angel met him and gave him the gift of healing. Three physicians did not pronounce Mr. Perry as being deceased as William Branham claimed, however. In fact, there was not a single physician present. William Branham himself pronounced Perry deceased and told the family that he had died. Pronounced dead by three doctors. And I went into where he was at. He's driving a Pennsylvania locomotive tonight and still they don't believe. That's true. That is true.